My name is Hugh from SRI Instruments and in this video we'd like to show you how to prepare a calibration standard that includes terpenes and cannabinoids both in the same calibration standard. This is because on SRI GCs you can test for the terpenes and the cannabinoids in one analysis. So to start with you need to purchase from one of several companies a calibration standard for CBD, THC, and CBN. So this is what they look like. They come in a little ampule like this, costs about $25, and this contains a tenth of a percent CBD, and we're going to put that into a, a separate little bottle. These are called one and a half or sometimes two milliliter bottles. So we have to get the sample, the standard rather, out of this glass ampule and into that little bottle. So when you buy a GC from us, we give you these little disposable plastic pipettes. If not, they're, they're very cheap. They're three or four cents each. You buy a box of a thousand. So it's a little dangerous to um, break the glass ampule. So the trick is to put a little spit on the neck of the bottle where it's going to break. You can see they've, they've got a little narrow neck here where it's going to break. So you put a little spit on there. For some reason, that helps the glass break easily. And then it's very helpful to have some kind of a, of a sleeve that you put over the bottle so that in the event something goes wrong, you don't cut your hand. The trick when you're breaking these ampules is to pull the ampule apart while you snap, not just snap. You pull and snap at the same time. So here I'm going to put the sleeve on there, and I'm going to grab it and pull it, and then snap it, and it breaks just like that. So then we take the, the disposable pipette, and transfer the liquid. There's only one milliliter of it, so it fits perfectly into a one and a half or two milliliter um, glass bottle. And then we cap this, and then, very importantly, we put a label on it. Because once it's in the bottle, it's very easy to mix up what it is. So we'll put a little piece of lab tape on here, like so. And then we look at the bottle. In some cases, the label on the bottle can actually be peeled off, and you can actually put the original label on the bottle. But I, I kind of like to just write the, the identifying number right on there. So this particular stuff is cannabinol, which is CBN. So I'm going to put this as 1,000 nanograms per microliter CBN. And on the back, I'm going to put the date which is 6617. Okay, so there's our, our CBN standard, and its concentration in this bottle is a tenth of a percent, which is the same as 1,000 nanograms per microliter. So we'll go ahead and do the same thing for the, the THC. This is the Delta 9 THC. Snap it off. Take a nice clean disposable pipette, transfer that into the one mil bottle. Throw these glass bottles away. Cap the little bottle. label. And so this is 1,000 nanograms per microliter of Delta 9 THC. And I took it out of the bottle today at 6617. Okay, one more to go. So, this is the CBD, cannabidiol, cannabidiol, cannabidiol. So, get a little lubrication, break it off. Transfer the contents. And 
label it up. So this is CBD, 1000 nanograms per microliter, 6617. Okay, so now we have our three primary standards and each one of these is at a concentration of a thousand nanograms per microliter. So we need to make our, our working standard out of these. So to do that, we're going to take an equal amount of each of these three and put it into a, another little vial. I think I'll use a slightly different vial here. Okay, so for that, we're going to use a bigger syringe. We're going to use the, the 100 microliter syringe that we give you with the GC. So first I'll, I'll wash the syringe out in some nice clean acetone. You could use denatured alcohol or ethanol or really any polar solvent, but we like acetone for a reason that not directly related to this, but it makes going forward and doing um, THCA and Delta 9 CBDA, it makes that analysis a little easier because it saves a step. So. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take 100 microliters of each one of these. So here's, here's the CBN, 100 microliters into the bottle. And then I'm going to take 100 microliters of the Delta 9 THC, put that in the bottle. and then 100 microliters of the CBD into the bottle. So, because I mixed the three together, even though each one originally was 1,000 nanograms per microliter, when I mix the three together, now the concentration becomes less. It becomes 333 nanograms per microliter. So, in the bottle, there should be a total of 300 microliters of liquid. So, I'm going to label that up. And we are going to label this and call it CBD THC CBN 333 nanograms per microliter. Okay? So you could use this just like this. This would be called the, um, the working standard if you were using the external standard method of calibration. But we are going to use the internal standard method of calibration. So for that, we need to have an internal standard solution, which we happen to have here. And what this liquid is, is acetone from the hardware store. This costs about $12 a gallon. And into that, we have put some of this white powder called methyl stearate. So methyl stearate is palm oil. It's, it's safe. It's in lipstick. There we go dumped a little bit out on the tabletop. So this is what we use as the internal standard because it's safe, it's non-toxic, it's very, very inexpensive. Half a, a kilogram, so a pound, costs about $30. So it's very cheap. This would be a lifetime supply for 100 labs. So it's safe to touch. And what we did was we took a little balance and we weighed out one gram per gallon, which works out to 264 milligrams per liter. Now we didn't make a full liter, we only made 200 milligrams, so we did the math and we put in the correct amount of methyl stearate into the powder and then let it dissolve. So this is what we call our internal standard solution. So beyond that, we went a step further and we took the internal standard solution and filled this 40 milliliter bottle with the internal standard solution. So here I am going to take the internal standard solution and fill this 40 milliliter bottle right up to the neck where the neck gets narrow and that's 40 milliliters. Pour the rest back. Now I have an option here too. 
if I'm going to make an internal standard calibration with only the CBD, THC, and CBN, I would take 300 microliters of this and put it into the bottle because there's 300 microliters of the 333 nanogram per microliter CBD, THC, and CBN. To make a regular internal standard calibration, we would just take the internal standard solution and add an equal amount. So then there'd be 600 microliters of liquid in this. But we're going to go a step further and we're going to add terpenes to the internal standard solution. This is how we're going to make a calibration standard that includes not only the cannabinoids but also includes the terpenes. So we have here a selection of terpenes. These are also usually pretty inexpensive. A bottle like this of limonene is about 35 or 40 dollars and, and that is definitely a lifetime supply. So there's many, many terpenes that you could measure for. To keep life simple, we're only going to measure six terpenes, six of the most common terpenes. So we'll go in the order that they come out. So the first one is alpha-pinene. So we'll take four microliters of alpha-pinene. So we'll use the 10 microliter syringe that came with the GC. Get a couple of these with the GC. So these, these liquids